amigos and welcome to Beyond the Cookbook. Today I'm bringing you chicken breast with mole. Oh yes amigos, today I will be teaching you how to make this delicious sauce we call mole. Only here and Beyond the Cookbook. require quite a few ingredients for our mole sauce, but don't worry, I will walk you through the process. For this mole, I have all my ingredients here, and uh, we're going to start with our tomatoes. We're going to make sure they get charred on our little skillet right here. So now we're waiting for the vegetables, for the tomato, onion, and garlic to char. Right now, in the meantime, because I'm waiting for my tomatoes and my onion to be ready and nice and dark, I already started with my broth, and I'm cooking my chicken. Uh, so I have two chicken breasts in there, and I added my vegetables. So about one liter of broth I will, I will uh, be needing for the sauce. Make sure you don't get rid of it. We will be using it later. We completed step number one, which was charting our tomato, garlic, and onion. Now we will proceed to step number two. Okay, so our tomatoes are nice and charred. They're ready, our onion, perfectly done. Our broth is going. I actually can turn it off now, because it's gonna sit there for a minute. But now we have to work on our chilies. I have three kinds of chilies here. You can go as basic as just using one, which is chile ancho. The chile ancho is a little bit thicker, and it's not spicy at all. Uh, some recipes call for 10 chilies, and I'm just gonna use three. Uh, chile ancho, I have two. Two chile pasilla, which is nice and uh, fresh still. And I have two chile morita. I like the, like the nice little hint of spice that it brings, but it's really mellow, so this mole is not gonna be spicy. So I gotta prepare my chilies now. Your nice handy dandy scissors. So here, I'll just cut the tips. I'm not gonna be needing that. So you might make a little bit of a mess, but it's okay. It's really easy to tidy up. Oh, that exploded. Especially because it's uh, not my kitchen. <laughs> I'll remove that. <laughs> <laughs> and all jokes aside, I just need to make sure I organize my space. I need to make sure I have enough room to continue with the next few steps. It's very important to remove all the veins and all the seeds inside the chilies, especially if you want a mild mole. If not, you'll get a little extra heat. And remember, you can make your mole with one chili, one chili ancho, or one chili pasilla. But I wanted more flavor. I wanted to pack all the different levels of heat, so I went with three. And of course, don't forget to have fun when you're making this recipe in your kitchen and get some music going. My chilies are ready, so I am ready to fry them now. We will be starting with um, our chilies. Remember, two ancho, two pasilla, and two morita. Let's start uh, frying our chilies. This process is quite quick, so you will not walk away from this. Just a quick frying throughout. And I wanted to tell you that mole actually means sauce. Yeah, in Nahuatl. So it's a traditional Mexican sauce. You can make a simple mole with about 10 ingredients or you can go extravagant and add about 30 ingredients, which in Oaxaca, I believe they add many more. For this particular mole, I'm using 15 ingredients. So it's kind of mid-level mole but full level deliciousness. Now I'm just giving a quick fry to all my nuts and dry ingredients as well as my crackers.
This step will only take a couple minutes. Make sure nothing gets burnt. I think they're all nice, so I'm gonna grab my bowl and set it aside. Oh yes, amigos, let's have some fun here. So now, we get our tomatoes, we get our onion and our garlic. I'm getting my broth set aside. Now I gotta get uh, all the liquid that I'm gonna be using for my blend. Okay, so now I have everything set aside, everything's ready. Got my mixer going. Let me get organized here. So first, tomato. Let's mush it up a little so it actually blends properly. Got my onion and garlic. My mix of nuts and crackers. And this I might have to do a couple batches because I kind of have too many chilies. So I am putting out a couple chilies at first, blend and then get back to it. And I will be using my broth. If you don't have a homemade broth at home, don't you worry, you can use water and a little bit of uh, bouillon or chicken stock. We're adding our salt to taste and one teaspoon of sugar. We have to blend our ingredients until we have a very smooth sauce. The oil that we had left over from sauteing our uh, nuts, we're gonna be using it now. And you'll need a strainer. It depends on how thick you like your sauce. In my case, I like it smooth, so if I notice I have too many little chunks of nuts, either you can blend a few more times or you can um, Make sure you, you remove a few of them with a strainer. So I might be doing a mix of both. I might add a little bit of the nuts, but I don't want it to be too overwhelming. So just keep checking your sauce. Yeah, I wanted it a little bit more thick, so I'm adding a little bit of the thicker paste. And now it looks like I got the right consistency. My chocolate goes in next. A nice little chunk of chocolate, which it has to go um, right now and it the heat has to be low because you don't want to burn the sauce and you want to melt the chocolate nice and smoothly. You have to season and don't forget to try. Try it and see if you have enough salt and then we're good. And just like that, now we have a mole sauce with our chicken breads. We're going to be pouring it on top. And don't forget the sesame seeds on top. That's the traditional touch. Okay, so this was the recipe for today. And uh, please don't forget to check our upcoming videos. Now I get to treat myself to this delicious chicken breast with my mole sauce. Perfect heat. Okay, I had a great time tasting this mole. And please, if you enjoy our video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. We have a goal of 1,000 subscribers, so if you can help us out, that'll be wonderful. Thank you and have a great day.